How about you, Stacey? Anything that you'd like me to cover that I haven't covered? Yeah, just um, possibly that bit of content at the end of um, our assessment. It just ah, says, yes. Um, yes, yes, yes. I think it just says, thank you for submitting or something. Yeah, so yeah, that's cool. Just want to change that a bit because we've had a bit of feedback that it's a bit like people don't know if they've passed or right. what's happening. <laughs> of so, course. <laughs> which of obviously course. they've had to pass, but yeah. so I just want to change that wording. Okay. Um, need me, to spell everything out. <laughs> let, let me show you then. It's very easy to do. You'll be able to do it in just a few moments. So, um, so I'm going into forms now. So you can see the screen, right? So yep. I can show you. Okay. So yeah, I can. And then I'll, I'll pick, uh, I'm going to filter by process step and choose, I can actually do it on any of these forms, but I prefer to do it on one that um, is actually a multi-choice exam or an assessment. So I'll click on that, click on the edit button there. Okay, so the, the field that we're interested in is this one here. Okay, content yep. for past. So this is the field that we can use, we can co-opt that field to display um, a different message. Um, to the customer, which is pretty cool. So if I click on the, um, I can do that here pretty easily. If I click on the plus sign, I can choose, and you choose internal, okay? So you choose internal as a type. And yep. then I can say, um, uh, I, if you want, you could say success message. Okay, so here I'll choose internal type, form with scoring past. And now you can just type whatever you want. Well done, you passed. Fantastic. Looking forward, to seeing you on the course. Okay, so I'll just copy that up the top there. If I add this content in, and then if I choose it here, there you go, choose success message, save and preview and publish. And then from now on, when people complete their assessment, that's the message, that's the, that's the content that's gonna be displayed for them. So you can vary that content depending on the assessment. So you could even customize it and say, you know, congratulations on completing your CPR or your, your, um, your first aid course. Um, so you can give them different messages that yep. way. No worries, too easy. I think that's probably the only thing that I had, because I cool. think the other stuff I asked you about um i have sorted so yeah emails and stuff i'm pretty good with now um awesome. creating them and linking them um in the process steps of where they need to go so that's pretty good um and i've been putting together our next course that we're setting up for online which is the first day so fantastic well done um i've stepped that pretty much all together and now I'm just finalizing the content that I'm adding in. So yeah, so once I've, once you kind of get the gist of what you need to do, it flows pretty quickly. So that's really good. Yeah, then once you've done it once, right? It's almost like a cookie cutter. You just do the yeah. same thing for the others. Yeah. And um, yeah, the consistency comes in there and yeah, you probably you probably tweak things as you go through. You're learning more things, so you need to go back and and apply that logic again because you've you've learned new things. But um, but yeah, it's 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 pretty good, isn't it? You get to be quite quick about it. Yeah, so it's going pretty well. So that's good. Cool, fantastic. Oh, good. Excellent. Well, have a great weekend then. Thanks and, so um, much. You thanks, too. <laughs> thanks. For, thanks for participating. <laughs> Catch you later. Eh? Thanks. See ya. Cheers.